Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Meaty69, and we are back for a video that's been long due. Um, it is my top five worst premium tanks. Now, I started a top five quite some time ago, my top five premium tanks and my top five tech tree tanks. And I did say I was going to do a top five worst uh, premium tanks and a top five worst tech tree tanks. Um, but I just haven't had time to get around to it. But I've finally done the tech tree. Uh, not the tech tree. I haven't done the tech tree just yet. I've finally done the premiums. And I'll go through my top five and pretty much explain why they are my top five. Now, number five is this ugly looking thing. Uh, the Vindicator. Now, it's fun. I'll, I'll give you that. 830 damage into that RU. It is a fun tank. It's a tier 7. Um, but I just don't... You have the SU-152. And it's better maneuverability than this. Um, this thing has got nothing gun depression. It can do shots like this, however. 1125 HE roll, high roll into a tier 8, and goodbye, that AMX has gone. So, it is a fun tank. It can be a fun tank. But just with the premiums, I had to choose my top 5, and this fell into it mainly because of the look of it and the gun depression. The gun depression is literally like so bad it might as well be minus because it's got nothing at all and that ruins the tank um, and flat surface it's a fun tank it is a fun tank and i had i actually have a nice battle this this game so we've got the t49 there last alive he does do a low roll into me he does track me but he gets trapped on the building and I managed to get a nice 871 roll into him. So the first battle, it was quite a nice battle. Um, I'm actually surprised it wasn't an ace. Because not many people play this tank. Because it is ugly. Um, but we do finish that battle on 4,300 damage. We make 83,000 credits. And a first class. So it is a nice credit earner. It can be a nice credit earner. Uh, difficult to ace. You see there are only seven shots, but so it was actually a nice battle. Um, but it did sadly fall into number five. Um, just falling out of number five was probably the Angry Connor, which is probably my number six. So just missed it because the Angry Connor, it, when you first buy it, yeah, it's quite fun. You know, driving around backwards. No one ever sees it. People call you a noob. Um but that just missed out. So number four is this tank here, it's the Tankenstein. And again, I'm not, just because these are my top five worst premium tanks, it doesn't mean they're bad. It doesn't mean they're bad. It's my opinion and it's my top five. I'm not saying it's the top five, it's my top five. And it's just what I think of the tank. And this falls into number four. Now it has got two guns, but the, the longer reload gun has got better alpha and it's 14 seconds reload. Um, you can get some bounces. Uh, you do get some bounces, 450 roll there, but then you're on a 14 second reload. And even tier sixes, we, we are a bit lucky here because we do get some bounces and we do manage to hold this this ridge HE there into the AMX, but we well we do manage to clean them up. Uh, I thought I was going to miss I was going to miss there, but I didn't. Um, so we do hold our own, and it was actually quite I wouldn't say the best battle. It was an okay battle, um, but it's just the tank itself. It's okay. It's got okay damage. It's got okay armor. Um, apart from that, it's the reload. And I've, I've, there's no really other reason uh, as to why it's number four, but out of the out of the premium tanks that I've played and that I've got, 
I would just say this falls into it because of the reload, uh, the speed. If these guys up here would have pushed, I was for sure I would have been dead. Uh, without a doubt, with the speed of this thing, it's really, really slow. Uh, and the reload. And there we go, 16 seconds reload without adrenaline. So, yeah, that falls into my number four place for no reason, really, just because there are better premiums out there. Um, but we do finish that battle on 2,800 damage, second class, and again, 57,000 credits, so not bad for a credit earner. Um, I don't actually own this tank. It is on my contributor account, so which is probably why it pushed me for number four, because it's not a tank I play very often. Now, number three is... There's two tanks, so it's the Light Vic and it is the T7 car. Now this battle is absolutely poor and these are tanks that I really don't like. So the first two tanks on my list, it's tanks that are not the greatest, but you can you can have some fun in them. And now we are getting to the stage where they're tanks that I really, really hate. Now the Light Vic and the T7 car, they're pretty much the same tank. So they I've got the clip here of the light Vic but the T7 car they're pretty much exactly the same now the reason I hate these now I don't want to feel uh, be a bit harsh because they are free tanks and the tanks that Wargaming have given us for absolutely no money whatsoever uh, they were birthday gifts here have a free tank but I just find them pointless it is I know it's a car uh, the T7 car. But the gun. Come on. You can't even have. APCR. Now if this thing had APCR. I think it would be a nice tank. But. It only has AP. So you struggle penning. You can see there look. A whole clip into an M2 light. I've done 17 damage. And there's some tanks that. Is just unpenable. You can't pen them now when these were first given out you used to see seven t7 cars or seven like vix against seven like when they're first given out and that is fun that is fun because you can pen them everyone can pen you but you'd also have the back gangs where you'd have seven t7 cars or seven like vix the enemy would have six and the last one will be either the German, uh, not the German, it would be the French R35 or the Mini Mouse or even a T18 because they're near enough, not so much the T18, but the Mini Mouse and the R35, they are unpenable. You can't pen them. So if it when it was seven versus six like Vix and then there was an R35 or a Mini Mouse, whoever had the Mini Mouse or the R35, it was a guaranteed win. It, it was a guaranteed win. I've seen a one versus seven. I've had a one versus six win, uh, and that's what made me put that as number three because it's just a pointless tank, and especially in tier threes, you just can't pen anything because it only has the AP. Now number two on my list is this ugly tank here. It's the 59 pattern. Now there's a couple of reasons why this is on my number two. Uh, one of them because it's a tier eight and it was a great tank. Um, and it took me 65 crates to open this tank on my CC account. 65 crates. That's like 300, 400 pound for a tank that's not even that great. I'm not saying it's a rubbish tank, but it's got not much armor. It's got that big, massive hatch on the top, so everything can pen you with... Big tanks can pen you with HE, no problem in that hatch. Um, the speed isn't so great, but it's okay for a medium. The reload is okay for a medium. But I think what pushed me more for this being number two is the fact that it was a great tank. It did cost a fortune to get the tank, and it wasn't even that great. Uh, Again, I have quite, an, I wouldn't say a very nice battle, but it was an okay battle, this game here. And some of my top five worst tanks, when getting the footage, 
I had quite nice battles and it don't really help as to why it's my top five because I do have some nice battles. Now there we get one kill. It's four against three. Um, we are winning on cap points, but they have three tanks here that are nearly, two of them are full health and one of them is half health. So it's now three against three and you can see I'm pushing around. I'm not intending to go behind them and start shooting. I'm intending to get A, the base. So it stops the enemy getting points because they are now leading. And one shot each from them guys and I'm near enough dead so I don't want to push them just yet I want to wait for my team to, to come uh, all three of them have now been open the T54 lightweight is now a one shot I'm trying to say to him negative run away you don't need to be there so just get out of there but he does die and leave just me in this super Persian which the super Persian has a fantastic battle fair play to him he has a great battle so now I want to get behind. The T-34 is going low health. The e, uh, IS-3 is low health. So I can now get behind them. Uh, they don't know I'm here. They are focusing the Super Persian. So we're going to go back. Uh, we've got two bases now. IS-3 is capping B. We do get one shot on the T-34. Uh, because that's where my Super Persian is. And I'm going to try and focus the same tanks uh, that he does. But now I'm going to go and try and focus this IS-3. I'm going to leave him with the Tiger. Um, he's had a great battle. I'm sure he can handle himself against a Tiger. And now we're going to get the side of the IS-3. He's a bit of a noob. Get a bounce there. And we get one and we leave him on 28 HP. Um, we get one more shot into him, but it does bounce. And that's the thing with this tank. But the penetration isn't great. We do get... Uh, a pen there we switch to heat to clear him up for our third kill and you can see there our super persian he's losing some hp but he's got it covered puts the tiger now now down to 377 he's now a one shot so i get one more shot onto the tiger to help out the super persian and he manages to clear him up for his second kill so fair play to that super persian great game and he did in fact ace the tank in that battle uh, whereas I finish on 2.1k damage, first class, 47,000 credits, and there we go, 2,700 for him, and a nice ace. So, not a bad battle, but it is my number two. Now, number one is this thing, the FCM 36 pack 40, and again, this battle don't justify why this is actually my worst premium tank in the game. Nearly everything about this tank is awful. The speed, the armor, the look of it. The gun, however, is pretty nice when you can work it. And I was lucky this battle that I was able to work this gun and not get challenged. And it is a tier three. So it's not like you're going to play this tank much anyway because it's a tier three. But I do admit this was the worst £10 I have ever spent in this game because other than getting this footage I'm never gonna play it again I'm never gonna play it. I don't want to sell it because it's a premium so I'm ju it's just gonna sit in my garage and it's gonna rot and never be played again unless I was doing a live stream and it got asked to play then yes we do get a lucky bounce there and this is what I mean I do get lucky because I am spotted and I'm not gonna go out in the open there's a couple of tanks on that hill there um, it is tier 3, so you don't know if they're good players, you don't know if they're noobs, but we get a lovely shot in that Panzer 4A, lovely ammo rack, 400 or so damage, done, goodbye. So already we got a kill, we've got a nice bit of damage, two tanks down now, we've got the M2 medium up there, we get one shot into him, 161 damage, and this is what I'm saying about the gun, the gun is actually really, really nice. And, and that's what I mean. If you can work the gun, um, and you, I don't know where that shot went. If you're able to work the gun and not get focused, it can be a nice tank. But it's still my number one worst tank because it's not very often. One in 15, 20 battles you'll have a game like this. 
Uh, HE there into the side of that, 160. Nice. Well, it wasn't nice. It was actually a low roll. Um, but already we've done quite a bit of damage for at tier 3. We haven't had anyone shoot us or take damage from us. As of yet, we have blocked a couple of... Or bounced a couple of shots. Got the T15 up there now. Get one shot into him. Again, nice damage. And now we are starting to get shot. It is 5 against 5. And we need to take this T15 out. So I'm going to start pushing forward. And then I notice the Chi Heart. So... BT2 now is blocking me. Uh, stupid. He is a one shot to me, so I do try and focus the one shot, and we do manage to clear him up. So it is now five against three. We've got the T15 up there, that's a one shot. We've got the T2 medium up there, that's just had half his health taken from him. Uh, so we're going to push him because he's got a little bit more, more health. The T15 has now run away, so I'm going to push forward to this T2 medium. Um, and try and get a bit of damage to him, but I've now lost nearly half of my hit points already. I'm going to switch to the HE uh, on his rear, 169 damage, and now he's only on 50 HP. So, not bad. The BT is now a one shot near enough. It's five against now one. I managed to clean up the M2 medium, which now just leaves this T15. So, I'm on three kills, one of my teammates are on three kills. BT2 is now dead, and the T15, I'm just waiting for him to poke out. Is he going to poke out? Yes, he is, but we only do a little bit of damage. We should have used the AP, and we would have clean, cleaned him up. So that is it. Very nice battle indeed, actually. But that is my worst top five, or my top five worst premium tanks. And the FCM Pack 40 there tops it at number one. And we do finish on 1,400 damage. We get the ace. And we absolutely carried the team. We've done more than half the team's damage, uh, as you can see there. But that's still my number one. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, let me know your top five, and I'll see you all soon.